It was a normal night, and I was at my desk, looking for my next case. In this town, there's no shortage of synthesizer and synthesizer-adjacent crimes waiting to be solved. And then, I saw it. The toughest case I'd ever take on. A case that might end my career, if it didn't end my life first. The case of the One Star Rating. I actually really like this drum machine. Whether it's synthesizers, drum machines, video games, books, movies, I think that everyone finds themselves in that position where you see a publications review and you are like, that is completely the opposite of how I feel. And um, that's kind of how I feel with how I've seen people talk about the Korg DDM-110. Now, of course, I think that, you know, it's just an opinion. Uh, opinions not liking it are valid, and I think opinions liking it are valid. It's just however you happen to feel. But I do think it's a case of one person's trash being another person's treasure. Because this drum machine that is so widely hated, apparently, is, uh, to me, a pretty indispensable part of my studio. And I want to talk about the DDM-110, and also a little bit about the importance of hands-on experience when you're forming an opinion on gear. And, um, you know, if you enjoyed the video, and you haven't already, please consider leaving a like and hitting subscribe. But, um, yeah, let's get into it. So as for the build and aesthetics, I like the retro-looking font on the front, but I think the build feels kind of cheap. The chassis is cheap plastic, the knobs are cheap plastic, the buttons are cheap plastic. I think you're picking up on a theme here. There's nine sounds. You've got a kick, a snare, a low tom, a high tom, a rim shot, a clap, a cymbal, an open hat, and a closed hat. You've also got a volume control for the hats and cymbals, which is neat. Unfortunately, there are not individual outputs for the drum sounds, but for something this cheap, that's not a shock. You can build patterns instead of finger drumming on those cheap plastic pads. And there's just something about the sound of these samples that I love when you've got them sequenced. It might have sounded like I had a lot to criticize, so I just want to make sure I'm really direct. I love the goofy and cheesy sound of this drum machine, um, and I really like what it brings to my studio. Now here's the thing that I think is important about it. If I had gone online and I looked up reviews for this drum machine, I would have decided, like, never to get it. Um, generally people hate it and, and I understand like it is very limited even compared to like other pretty cheap drum machines from like decades ago but the sound is just right for me and for what I want it's um it's fun I think that my preferred genre of music is like self-deprecating pop which uh, the DDM 110 is perfect for with all that being said um, I'm not telling you to go out and get one because what's right for me might be wrong for you what I'm saying is that I really like it I don't know if you would and I don't know if I recommend getting one online. I've seen them going for like upwards of $100. I don't think I would suggest spending more than like 50 to 75 bucks on one of these. Honestly, lower if possible. Uh, check local classifieds if you're like really set on getting a Korg DDM-110. I've seen them pop up locally around here pretty dirt cheap. The reason I suggest not getting one at the prices that they might be at online right now is that, you know, while I really love it, I also think that the experience of programming it is kind of clunky, and for most people, you'd probably just be unhappy if you spent, you know, a hundred plus dollars on the DDM-110. I want to thank you so much for hanging out, sticking around, watching, and listening. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please leave a like, you know, hit subscribe, it helps support the channel, and you'll also be notified when I upload. And um, I'm curious, you know, leave in the comments, I'm wondering, what's your, like, hot take or un unpopular opinion about a piece of music gear? Um, but yeah, anyway. Why don't we close off with a little outro jam, and uh, yeah, again, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.